Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Dorissa. If you're new to the channel, I hope that you're doing great. In today's episode, we'll discuss the Recycle Bin and how to recover deleted records in Salesforce. Salesforce Recycle Bin is a feature in Salesforce that allows users to restore recently deleted records in Salesforce. When a record is deleted, it is first moved to the Recycle Bin instead of being permanently deleted. However, it stays for a limited period of time in this recycle bin. Usually it is for around 15 days. In some editions, such as Salesforce Unlimited and Enterprise, usually administrators can customize this retention period. Why do we need the recycle bin in Salesforce? Why can't we permanently delete records? Well, it actually provides also a safety net in case the record was accidentally deleted or needed later. Good to have some sort of security that you can restore your documents, even though you can't restore all files. There will be some limitations. As always, I'll be sharing one of my Salesforce Trailhead playgrounds. You can also get your free playground environment where you can practice, you can create, build stuff and break stuff. And... Um, I opened here one of my test cases and uh, let's pretend that I accidentally deleted this case. So I will select this delete button and delete the case in the environment. The case is gone. I still have, so this case was related to the University of Arizona. Now I need to restore the file and what to do? How could I restore this record that I have just deleted accidentally? Now I have here another tab. Here's my uh, sales cloud environment. Now, if I go to the nine grid on app launcher and um, select here, I can even just write bin. It will provide an option recycle bin. Not everyone has access to the recycle bin. All administrators can access the recycle bin. So if I go into the recycle bin, by default, I don't know if it was in this environment, but I can see that for me, I can, my first view is my recycle bin. I can also select to org recycle bin, but since I deleted the record, it will be in my recycle bin. Now I can see deleted date. It was just now. I can also make sure that that's the, the right record if I know the case number. And I have some filters here that I can use if I change the view, I can show this in a few steps, but this is very straightforward. Once you're in the recycle bin, you find uh, the you find the record and then you go into this drop down arrow and you select restore. Once you have restored the record, you have the success message that uh, this case number was restored. Now, if I go back to the University of Arizona related cases and refresh the page, here you go. My case is back here in the related list. So everything's perfect. It's back and no panic. Now, if I go back to the recycle bin, let's imagine that I didn't delete the, this record and none of the administrators did, but it was a user who accidentally deleted something. Now, from the my recycle bin view, I want to create a new list view and um, I want to just write all org edit let's say this should be a list that i can also edit and use various filters so this all users can see list view will apply only to people who have access to the recycle bin so if you can't access the recycle bin then you will not see this list view if i click save then most likely all my admins will be able to view this list view and yeah i'm in the right list view now here I can also use my filters and uh, I can change the, the owner to all recycle bin, click save. And now you can also filter it based on the record name. If you know the record name or deleted, if you know who deleted this user, user's alias, first name or last name and the record type, let's say it was a case. It was an opportunity. It was a lead contact, account, it can be anything in your org. And you just type in the value, click done, click save, and it will appear in your view. And it is a very powerful tool. There are some limitations. Anything you delete mo is, is moved to the recycle bin for uh, only 15 days. And as I mentioned in the beginning, this can vary depending on your Salesforce edition. But once 
after these 15 days, if you haven't restored anything, then all these records will be permanently purged. They will be permanently deleted from your environment. There is still a way how you could get some records back, but it wouldn't be with the recycled bin. You would have to use a different tool for that. I'm going to share the link to this help document as well, just in case you want to go through the document and um, have a try as well. It's always useful to use Salesforce help documents. And this is it. That's something I wanted to quickly share with you about Salesforce Recycle. But I hope that you found this video useful. And thanks a lot for getting this far in the video. I will see you next time. Take care.